First and foremost, let me just tell you something really quick before we start this long live commentary live. Let me say something to you. Don't ever come on to my comment section unless you're preparing yourself to get slow walked off my channel and tell me that I talk too much and I'm a commentary channel. You sound crazy. I'm a commentary channel and I'm going to talk because I do commentary. If you don't like it, get missing. Because on this channel, we talk on this channel. If you don't like it, bye, bye, Felicia. Okay, just letting you know. And also, if this is the people in the back, if you don't understand, because commentary channels, I don't care from A to Z what they do commentary on, even history, like uh, black history and, you know, civil uh, rights or maybe... Um, history on uh gang banging and you know where it started from and whatever have you every year every day people will read up or do due diligence on whatever the topic it is that they have an interest in and, and that the whole channel might be on that commentary and they update or they speak it in the way they saw the the past and they do commentary to it, whether it's history, whether it's a walk down memory lane of what led up to the toxicity with Blueface and how I think that it might not get better. And it's going to go back to square one is just on pause right now, whether it's about that or history, like with Martin Luther King and Mandela, whoever else. Commentary is evergreen content, and it's here. And if I want to, which I'm going to, until I feel as though Krishan Rock and Blueface are out, I will continue to remind you the behaviors that I see from the phone conversations that we did, in fact, were able to listen in on. The Q and A's that we were able to listen in on this year, the few pieces of information that I have gathered and made my own opinions on, I will continue to show you patterns of behavior that this man has not changed, and that is only going to get worse when they both are out and doing their big one on social media again. And every time I say something, it comes true because. Like I said, I've been their age. They've never been mine, okay? I have taken a few walks around the sun where they haven't. So if you want to let them tell you something that's not uh, what it is, okay, we got people, you know, mass confusion, thinking that uh, they're going to ride off into the sunset with blue face and live out happily ever after. And here, Jaden Alexis put in more work she may have not have gave him all the affection to a big grown man like he wanted, but she was there through the thick and the thin, and she's still there. Then, honey, I don't know what to say. All I can tell you is that if you think that Jaden is a thing of the past, you got something, you got another thing coming. And let me read some of these comments and then we'll begin. Because, matter of fact, let me see, where did I even stop at? Hold on, wait a minute. It says, Buttercup, I seen that they're so clueless. Love your accent. I'm in Hawaii. Hi, Susie. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, born and raised. Okay, let's start. So let's start this. I really shouldn't have started this so late. But you know what? Who knows? I'll probably do it again, a recap video, um, and I'll do a, a live recap on it tomorrow because a lot of you guys may miss it. It depends on, you know, how many people come through because, honey, I edit this video for over an hour, and I'm definitely probably going to do another um, live to this tomorrow because um, too much editing, honey. So we got to make sure we get this out to the masses and stuff so you know here here goes because i really want you to hear this so let me stop sharing this here i know i should have started 
at six. But hey, we're here today. So let's get over here. Uh, you know, she's basically, I think she told, you know, the Oklahoma judge and some, some, something. So now you have this child who seems to be disabled yeah. because Chris Sean Rock was getting high during her pregnancy. This is established. This is not me guessing. You know, I remember I interviewed academics who was on FaceTime with her when she was like eight months pregnant. She's smoking a blunt. Yeah. On FaceTime. So you got this child that appears to be mentally disabled. Both of the child's parents are in jail. And then there's a video that surfaced <laughs> when Chris Sean gets arrested. Blueface's parents are there, and neither one of them wants to take the baby. Yeah. So now the baby is with Chris Sean's friend. Like, I've been in some toxic relationships before, but this right here, I, 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 I can't even relate to what's happening. Yeah, I don't even know how she still has custody. Well, she doesn't. She's in jail. Now, but I mean, yeah. if you're getting the whole time you're pregnant and then your kid clearly has issues and then you're still wilding out. I don't I don't know, but it, I mean, the parents don't want the kid neither. So it's like. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you, and usually the grandparents are the ones who step up, but you got two, two grandparents that are trying to be social media stars themselves and they don't want to take care of a disabled kid. They're literally arguing in the, in, in the courthouse. And the dad's like, I ain't trying to be a babysitter. And it, it's just like, uh, and then from what I understand, the reason why she was even at the court case, where they're saying the blue face allegedly got caught with meth in his jail cell. Wildin'. Whole situation's crazy. Whole situation's crazy. Thank you. People what are literally. That? An insecurity, There's right? people who are 25. So, anyways, that video I caught that it was two days ago he put that up, Vlad. I thought Vlad was over with um, talking about Christian Rock, but yeah, he he makes it from time to time part of his content on his channel, and um, it, it, I don't, I don't, I know he's a commentator. It's just my opinion. But I get from this commentator, Vlad, and like I said, I gave him his credit. So if y'all want to choose to go over and subscribe to his channel, you, you know, so be it. Um, but, you know, you got to show credits to content that you use as somebody else's. However, he just is running across to me to be someone who is is disgusted personally, don't even know Krishan Rock because of Krishan's choices that Krishan made. And I think that that's unfair. And I think that every time he does interviews, it is it's it's too heavy on his heart that you're doing an interview with someone that probably doesn't even know Krishan in even real life. There's social media in, entities like Krishan is, but that don't mean everyone knows Krishan. And how are you getting into meetings? I mean, well, interviews, and you're just randomly just bringing up Krishan Rock's name. Like, you know, oh, they might know who she is. And you just start talking with all these different people about Krishan Rock. And you're not even in this sector. And I'm quite sure you're not following her heavy like we are. And to, to even make these opinions or statements up, you know, and some of your statements are not even updated. And you're saying all this stuff about this young girl and, and half of this stuff is not what it is. Why is Vlad so that right? That's what I'm saying. Has nothing to do with these people exactly. So let's get on. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a a, a premiere. What I'm gonna do is it is late. I was supposed to do it at six. I know a lot of people um that was supposed to be at the six uh p.m. Uh, live commentary, they are now either sleeping, doing something else, or they probably won't get the notifications until later on. So what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to live stream this at a, a later time um, tomorrow as well. So, you know, like I said, it'll still be different commentary because, honey, I might, 
have a few things that I forgot to say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it is kind of late, but we're going to get into this because I want you guys to listen to the behaviors. No, see and listen to the behaviors of Blueface and Christian Rock and see that this is the way it is. And why are people so stuck on that Blueface has changed and he and he's going to make Krishan Rock his number one? There's all still in the closet. We're not the not comfortable thing. enough there, to no, say there's how a, there's, they feel. No, like, no. think about it like this. To... There's kids younger than your kid who's because they're being bullied for being gay. You know when we grew up, people would say, mm, you're gay, yeah. you're yeah. fight or whatever. These kids... And Jason Lee right now was talking about, you know, the sugar in the tank and, you know, being gay and this and that and other because he was basically trying to tell him to stop asking his son, is he gay? He's a little boy and, you know, that's inappropriate. He shouldn't be saying that, giving his son a complex. And we all remember when Blueface was doing that. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, Blueface, per usual, comes back with a reply he just wants to know. If you're a father and you just want to know what was you questioning, something that you're seeing, you know, your little one do, you know what I'm saying? Or are you questioning yourself? <laughs> Think about it. They're literally just now. And it's not because their parents aren't supportive. They won't even go talk to their parents. Because of the people outside. Yes. Okay. And your words are powerful because believe it or not, you're a role model. I know you don't. Whether you, we like it or not. Yeah. All right. See, I like Jonathan Porter. All right, so let's keep going on. So anyway, he privately already told me he just wanted to do this for y'all because, you know, this is what he does. Aquarius is want to fight and be toxic and argue and complicated. But anyway, he already agreed to me privately. He wasn't going to do it anymore. He hasn't. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I won't ask him anymore. I, I let, just did get the... Let's make an agreement today. I'm talking to a crip. You got to coach me on how to deal with a crip. See, okay, and I'll so coach you on how to deal with the gay no, community. Okay, so that's like the same thing. You couldn't ask no I, I random a... crip, like, oh, where are you from? It's kind of the same situation. Like, why yeah. are you asking somebody, like, yeah. what they, you know what I'm saying? Like, to put it in his perspective, like, you couldn't just ask somebody that. It's not really if you don't, if you don't know what's going on. We are already trained to tell you our name, where we're from. Like, the, that's, that's on like your face, first, though. You're, it's like the first word. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like literally on your face. That's what I'm saying. That's the I, point. Yeah, the other day, I was looking at your tattoo. If gay people got what. gay tatted on them, that would be a problem. Well, I'm not. That's gay. But would it be I'm wrong? It's a problem no, but that's that? gay. We're not putting gay on our face. That's 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 beyond but gay. But see what I'm saying though. Like you couldn't, you LGBTQ? can't just ask anybody what's going on. I feel like on. you get an LGBTQ right here. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. You um, can't just ask anybody what's going on with them because uh, they're gonna get offensive okay, regardless. Okay, carry on. Okay. Jason Lee knew just what he was doing. His his lives be three hours, but I'm gonna definitely start watching. Well, the our lives that interest me that that are um suitable for my audience that would entertain y'all, but he be having the longest lives. People do not get through these lives. His lives be like three hours long, but he knew exactly what he was doing with that Hennessy that he put up on that table for them too. Cause honey, it went from happy and cheery to um, people getting mad, catching feelings, Jaden Alexis and honey, Ned the wine, no couple. You'll see. This was crazy. Carry on. I get it. Carry That's on. like asking somebody in jail, what are you in here for? Like, fun. what's going on? Like, what do you mean? I got a story I'll tell you off. I can't tell them on camera. Okay. So moving on. Okay. So now, um, baby's born. She names the baby, Krishan, names the baby after her. Yeah, we need another yeah. This one. She said we need another you, drink on I mean, this one. You're not included in that conversation. She's moving like a woman whose kid is not yours because she's making all the decisions without you. She flew home and went live, broke the social media going live while she was giving birth. Yeah. She, you took a lot of heat online because you guys were in Miami. That's where I ran right, into you. Right. But were you notified that she was going into labor? Or were you told to come to the... Did you know where the baby was being born? I, I, I don't know nothing. Of, I, Instagram found out before me. And I feel like she did that to... Maybe get my attention. I feel like that's what she does. Have things that she does is to get my attention, which is like when I'm starting to notice and I'm kind of it's it's lo losing my attention. You get what I'm saying? Because I'd rather you tell me than they tell me. You know, mm -hmm. like if we cool enough at least, I'd rather you tell me, Jason. Like your blue, like you said, blue I, face I, you stop asking your son before, if you're yeah. gay. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because you know before they start. Making it a worldwide well, the reason that was that's because this is about the actual issue, not performative for them. Exactly. And do you so, feel like it's all performative at this point for them? Exactly. Okay. And so you found out on social media, but then you got slammed because you were out of town. Yeah. 
whose fault was it? Was it hers that you didn't know? Was it yours? I mean, because like you guys were just in your to own be, world. To be so fully honest, at this time, I told her, let's let's get some togetherness. This is when I hit you about the baby shower. Let's. And why would you hit so Jason Lee about the baby shower? Turmoil, let's, this baby, like, let's try to turn it around. Let's mm -hmm. do a baby shower. Let's throw some celebrations and let everybody know it's not just going to be you single mom. So once she started doing these moves, I'm like, Okay, I guess, you know, you just don't want me to be a part of it. So, you know, I already got kids, so I can't force my my way, you know? Mm -hmm. I can't to, to force my way into your your kid's life, you know? And if you, once she named him after herself, it was like, okay. But that was enough disrespect. So in all fairness, um, yeah, I just gotta be honest. I just say what I know. Uh, Blueface, I invited him to my birthday party. He came to my birthday party. He brought Krishan. I don't know why you were, were not invited. He brought Krishan. Maybe that was him trying to piece it up. Afterwards, you saw how it was put together. Yeah. You asked me to help with the baby yeah, shower. Yeah. My helping was putting you, Krishan, and the planner yeah. in a text and saying, yeah. can you help them? And I left. You yeah. were active saying, yeah, tell me what active. to do. Tell me what's the budget. Yeah. Tell me what it was. She was active in sending you a whole layout. It was beautiful. Yeah. Krishan was not responding. No response. Um, uh, then after no response, the planner said, hey, are we doing this or not? Because you wanted to do it in two weeks. It was yeah. like really fast because yeah. you knew she was going to give labor soon yeah. or whatever. Uh, I said, and, I, and again, me just making the connection, I did jump in and say, hey, you guys need help. What's yeah. going on? Uh, you responded again. No response from Krishan. And then finally, you just said, never mind. We've decided not to move forward. Mm -hmm. You didn't explain why and what happened. And you and I never had a conversation about yeah. it. But was it because she, what, why was it, why did it just not happen? Uh, she just wasn't interested, you know. She just was focused on other things, and at the end of the day. But what a lot of people don't know is not only did Krishan Rock not have a baby shower, and it's probably because of Blueface, because it's always he's always a factor in everything. But um, he wasn't even at Jaden Alexis's um baby shower because she came home the the day before, and he was um getting fellatio allegedly from Krishan Rock and she didn't want him nowhere around because a lot of her personal friends and family they knew about the situation and she felt awkward so he didn't come to the baby shower and she didn't Jaden Alexis didn't want him at the baby shower so he wasn't at neither one of I'm not trying to say he has two kids but he wasn't at this baby shower with the little girl, okay? And that was because of uh, Blueface's behaviors. And you're going to, in this part, I think this, I keep saying it, it, gets, it gets better. I think towards the end, this is the last part of it that I edited, this gets crazy. You're going to really see the insight, the mindset of what Blueface thinks. He's supposed to do what his role is and what their role is, and it's unfair, and they both need to leave him alone. I'm a man. You feel me? I'm, like, when me and her do baby showers, I literally just pay for the, the cost. I'm never facilitating the venue, the plans, the colors, the food, you know? So I just felt like a, a female, so I was just like, you know, uh, it's just, you know I'm doing too much. Mm -hmm. trust, so just cancel it, you know? Trust, her priorities, where is it? Hey, Diane Long. My wasn't, you know, what I was trying to do. Yeah. So. At that time, were you guys talking at all? Me and her? No, you and You know Krishana. who he was talking uh, about. Yeah, yeah. We, so you were still communicating. We came to the party. No, the party, the party happened, and then the baby shower thing started happening, yeah, and yeah. then it went dead, and yeah. then the next thing we saw, she gave birth, and you guys were in Miami. So yeah. between that period, were you guys talking still, or was communication um, gone? So it was like, it was probably like, this was like four weeks process. Mm -hmm. Two weeks we talking, trying to figure it out. In that two weeks, turmoil happened, and I just was like, that's when I was like, you know what? I'm You're done. Just give up on the idea. Yeah. Jaden looks okay, like Okay, so she's then the over, baby's born. She names over. the baby after her. Some guy comes up and says it's his. And the only thing I can think about was her telling you to leave, your mother telling you to leave, Whack telling you to leave. Yeah. And sometimes the, the Bible says warning comes before destruction. There's been all these warning signs. Um, what was it that made you blind to them? Was it the money? Was it love? Was it wanting to make it work? No, it was just appreciation. Okay. You know, when these people would appreciate me less, she would appreciate me more. Mm. They would be like, oh, I'm tired of doing this for you. She would be like, why are they tired of doing this for you? You know, 
it's, it's, let it's, me do it. It's benefit not not let me do it, but it's it's beneficial to everybody. You know, why mm-hmm. are they so focused on what they tired of doing? Got it. So it was just that I was just blind about it. Was, it, it was like a day or so before. All I ever seek for, like, yeah. When I do things for her, all I ever want. Hey, is baby a, girl, six one seven. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be public. Hey, Houston. As long as we get it, that's it. And then. Well, one thing I will say that checked out with WAC 100, he has said, and also um, Odin has said, the reason why he keeps her around, even even though nobody understands, why do you keep Krishan Rock around? And it's because he feels as though it's not about the money, it's about him being blue face and her loving him for him, you know, being affectionate to him. And he just said it out of his own mouth. He said it in his own words. But when he said it, it resonated with me of what I've heard from WAC 100 and um, Odin saying what he probably used to say, you know, when it was just, you know, men just hanging around, having a manly conversation. And he would say, listen, you know, people ain't got to understand why I'm with Krishan, uh, you know, whatever. I'm with her because she's not with me for my money. If anything, she gives me her money. She wants me for me. Jaden, Alexis, my mom, everybody else, they want clout from me. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, regardless of what people say, yeah, Krishan Rock will remain in the picture, but she's not going to be the only one. While I'm watching the social media, and I want to know what your right, thoughts are on all this are happening. Because I love how and, and people are watching and people are paying attention to every detail. And by the way, thank you both for being so honest and just talking. People are watching you stay out of what don't have nothing to do with you. Yeah. But I feel like every time y'all got something going on, here comes a post, here comes a sex tape, here comes all this other thing. So right. it's very interesting because there was a time where she goes live having the baby, which made everybody fall in love with her, right? Tactical. And then... It's like you. Um, and then I don't know what it was, but there was then a switch where everybody was like not feeling her. Yeah. I forgot what she did. Does anybody remember what she did? When, when, remember when everybody then got mad at Krishan? Um, so there was the live. Um, she named the baby after her. Uh, you then basically said, "Okay, well then I guess it's not my kid," and you backed off of it. And then, and I mean, then, who would do that? You know? Yeah. And if then, you're, if and you're having a kid with somebody that you admire. And well, you're not. I know what it was. Playing, she was in the studio with the kid. The came out. Uh, loud music, no headphones. Um, Walmart, no head support, just kind of yeah. whatever. And then she took. She got slammed on social media for that. When right. you saw that, were you already checked out of it all and saying this? Yeah. yeah. A, From the day the baby was born, I tried to. Be responsible, like, because she only responds to social media. So that's how I try to approach her. Mm-hmm. You know, if I call her and say, hey, I don't think that's a good idea. You shouldn't do that. She, But if social media says that, she's going to be more sensitive to it. So mm-hmm. that was just that. Okay. So then after you let it all go and you were done, why did you post the photo of the hernia? Because that blew the internet To up. get back was, at Krishan. It, it, was, it was taking too long. It was taking too long. What was? The hernia. For her to get care? Yeah. Okay. It's taking way too long. Um, I wasn't notified until maybe a week after she had the baby. And then I was still, I'm telling her, like, how are you? She sent me the picture, and I'm looking like, how is this okay for you? Like, how are you moving around so frequently, and you're just being so unsensitive to this? Like, you hear me? And... So, like, yeah, I'm really pressing. Like, why are you doing this and that if that's, like, you know? So then I, it, you just start taking too long. Like, it's too many appointments where it's like, I went with her to that appointment. That's why I went out there. They're saying, oh, you missed it. It was on Wednesday. The doctor's busy now. He's somewhere else doing something else. Oh, you missed the appointment? Yeah, the surgery appointment. That's what the, that's what the nurse is telling her while she's trying to check in for it. I'm just sitting there like, that's strange, like... Jaden is like, I am over this. Uh, you know, like he doesn't have anything. Like, so I'm like, all right, whatever. Time just keeps going. She back in California. Hey, that's what I'm saying. But he's saying I it's not his her. baby. Don't come time. back until California until you go to that next appointment and it gets done. If he gets mad when he gets out, he's going to say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Blueface needs to grow up. I look up, she back in California. Showing off a place and doing all this other stuff. Damn, yeah. I'm right. telling you, nothing's That's changed fine. about him. Another no, week we'll goes by. Like, 
What's taking so long? You feel me? This is and she's serious. not updating she's you on serious. like what's is she updating you on what's happening? No, she just keeps saying I'm scared, I'm pushing it back, and I'm not ready yet, and I'm not ready yet. I'm like, okay. Mind you, I've had this picture like a week after. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Um, I didn't post it till like. I'm like, all right, all right. Then when I had that show where me and her performed, I had invited her to perform. Um, she's the surgery, I guess, is like at that the day of the performance. She's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna tell them to take them and and I'm gonna make it. You better take that baby and, and do that. You're not finna. This is like a you know, this is an expensive, it's a serious thing. Yeah, this is, serious, this is an expensive baby. Like you can't just. We can do plenty of shows. So that's the reason she went by herself that time. If I would have told her to come to this show and do this tonight, she would have been there. Mm-hmm. And the baby would have went with somebody so else. So she wanted to go to the show she, instead of going to take exactly. care of the baby? Oh, I know. Paint her in a bad I light, but make her, yourself no, look good. We're not doing that. You have to do this. And so what made you post the, is it because you feel like she responds just to social media or? No, uh, after that appointment, she said they told her, we'll make another appointment. I said, um, okay. That's like, it's, it's, it's too hey, long. Hey, Cyrus. Too, too long, bro. Did you see the picture? I did. I did. I did, did I, you see a baby's? I, I didn't, and I, and I did. Did you see I don't care. I feel like this with that picture situation. I actually didn't see it, and I don't. I'm glad I didn't see it, but it's not, it's, it's not how you do, how's it go? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Let me, um, I can never forget that's an old school saying. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. I think the way he went about doing that, he was trying to get back at Christian Rock, but he doesn't understand. You threw your own flesh under the bus alongside with trying to get the attention of Christian Rock. Therefore, which makes me come to the conclusion that you are not a young man. You're being a boy. Period. Point blank. That was out of pocket. Anything sexualized anywhere? No. So, in all fairness, she I could... literally manipulated that into. Granted by her, that was a, a shift boy. change. But everybody, it's two different types of people in this world. It's people that saw a sexual thing, and there's people that saw. Mm. A problem that was not being intended to yeah. in time. So this this is what you get out of that. So one, I didn't look long enough to analyze what it was because I think I texted you and said, "What is this?" Because I, I I wanted you to explain it to me. You didn't respond to me, and I didn't look long enough because I, I but I did see what all social media was. Doing, but I was probably one of those people that didn't even look that had an opinion exactly. based on what, what I was hearing. Yeah. Right? Um, did you do it because you wanted people to know that she wasn't taking the the baby's health needs serious? Yeah, that on top of. Her just overly exposing this baby socially as if it's okay, as if it's 100%, as if it's, why? Mm-hmm. Why does the baby have an Instagram? Do you feel like it was a prop, it was becoming a prop? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Mm-hmm. Even with the video I shot, I told her I don't want, you should just stay in a hotel. I'm gonna listen, I'm coming. What, what can I, you feel me? So you're watching all this go down as a mother and as someone who's had two kids with him. What was your thoughts? Because you never spoke on it, did you? I mean, it's not my place to speak on somebody else's yeah, baby, yeah, obviously. She's, she's, um, she's, it's not my place to speak on somebody else's Jada baby. Don't care. Obviously, I hope everyone's baby is okay. I don't wish no ill on anybody's baby, but that that's really their place to speak on it. If he felt that it wasn't getting the care that it needed when he knows maybe more severity than I know that versus the internet, then he did as he should have. I don't yeah. know. I was like a last resort. I mean, desperation. I, I just try to stay out Only of one's that baby's care. Rock because is, it's, not is my, it's not my place. And no one ever tell him what to do with my kids. <laughs> so that's I didn't I'm lay saying. down and have mm-hmm. no You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't tell him rock. what to do with anybody else's kids if that's it is his kid, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, to but it's not. Topic, Jason, listen, that's not my baby mama. She, she, that's her own person. That's her own adult. That's her own thing. Let's get back to the top. Do you Jane want a fraternity Alexis test or would you take one? Wreck, I'll take trust one me. when everyone else is X'd out. The other people that have come that are up. claiming that are she's in contact with that she's promoting is whenever you know she figures out their role, then you know. Mm-hmm. 
I'll do. He needs. Right. His, he's gonna um, get out doing the same thing, baby uh, girl. When when so now people when people have seen her online in Walmart with the baby and the dog and all that, and people are saying, oh, we should stop um, making jokes of her and actually help her. Do you think she wants help to be a good mom? She doesn't want anything. That's what she just wants. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that person. Let's, let's oh, now it's that my person. Baby mama. Okay. He flip flops too much for me, honey. All right, so um, you've caught in heat for using the N word. I know people have a problem when Spanish people use N word, but sometimes we grow up in the same communities. We're like New York, Bronx, yeah, I never Puerto really Ricans, Dominicans, Black, everybody's never. What do you, what did you what do you think about the? Well, I don't really like it because I am part Black, so it's yeah. like I understand where they might become like maybe I don't look the part maybe as much as they would like to. But I mean, no disrespect by it, by all means. My Her grandma's black. Yeah, like, her, she so, be asking me, how do I do this? How do I do well, that? We got to give like, them the breakdown. So her grandma is half black, which means her. How about this to settle the score? None of us should be calling ourselves, you know, each other, the N-word. Because we know what it stands for, okay? And it's ignorant. And especially embarrassing to me when I see our people do that in front of Caucasians, because if they call you that, then you want to go do something to them. It should never really be okay to be using that word, but we use it too frequently, and we have made this the norm. So I don't know why they did go after Jaden for that. Dad is black, and her mother is Taiwanese. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. So her grandma's black and Taiwanese, and her mother's Black husband child. or man which had her mother is white i had the whole breakdown of what she is here and it was a my lot. mom is black white and taiwanese yes that's it okay she's not mexican at and all her dad's mexican, mexican somewhere who knows so when people see you they just say she's Mex mexican yeah and okay. that's fine and that, people you know, say that to me though yeah you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying that they just base it I mean, off my looks, it, you know, looks that's fine Hispanic. and that's fine and, and she that's is yeah no, but i'm not even mexican <laughs> but see that's annoying Look, he just said, boy, yeah. I'm my mom has, my mom faces that. Be She'd quiet, be like, Jane. That I'm drink Mexican. I'm not Mexican. I'm like, I know. I'm so mm. sorry. Okay, so now you're, um, by the way, you guys have some really cute kids. Thank I, you. And I, and I like I like seeing y'all together as a family unit. I just be so confused. And it's not you. It's really No, real. obviously. Yeah, yeah it course. is me. But I, 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 I'm standing on this. And I've been standing cute. for like six months now. Well, are you sure? Because he wasn't standing on this whole interview. So. Go ahead, girl. Oh, spicy. I love it. Would you ever do Bad Girls Club? Bad Girls Club? I thought it was dead. Or like baddies? Uh, baddies. Well, yeah, baddies, bad girls. Yeah, she would. I mean, yeah, if the check was right. Promotionally, yeah. That would be, ooh, we would, ooh, I would subscribe. They wanted her on the, on the last season. You would do it, though? I would do it. <laughs> what, <laughs> what else? I, I also don't think I say. Yeah, yeah. They um, wanted her on the last season, but it was like... Her and her sister, and I was like, nah, it's not a good idea. Well, they really are going through him, which is fine. Yeah. And that, and obviously, you'd have to go through him to get to me, which is fine. And if he's saying it's not right, then it's not right. No, but no, I'm going to stand on anything wait, I say. you have to go through him to get to you. Is it because he's daddy or because he's manager? Both. See? So. It's going to be like that when he gets out. Trust and believe that. Y'all think just because he's with Krishan allegedly while he's locked up, she's locked up now, too. That they're going to be together and ain't going to be no more Jaden. If you think that is not going to be any more Jaden, put a Y in the chat. I would respect people saying, okay, he's in jail. He's now with Krishan Rock while he's in jail. Before he went to jail, they were in a relationship before he went to jail. But he's going to do the same thing he did prior to him going to jail. He's going to flip flop back and forth between the two of them. It is what it is. If he's saying it's saying not that. right, then it's not right. I'm gonna have my crib. But saying if that. he's saying, if he's saying, stand on she ain't going and nowhere. I, I will stand on it whether he said or not. Then the day I'm in her best interest. You get me? It don't matter. Would, would 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 you guys do crazy in love as a threesome? They asked me. He already asked me to be on there. Yeah, I said no. no. Yeah, yeah, that, see, see, I have something to say. Actually, I have something to say about that. It, it refers back to the milf me like how people was trying to be on the you know run of God on crazy in love. So it was like you know stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. so Chris Sean Rock. I don't like how I don't like how they went about it. Right? Them with crazy love. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like how music. they went about the myth music. We me. started that. Okay. We started that. that so I don't like how together. they tried to ride that. The show. No, no, no. Him and whatever okay. would try to ride the milf music. Because they, you know, we live in a world where 
You know what it is. Like, I don't like how anybody. You don't like saying her name. That's not me. Do you ever say? Nope. You will never catch me. How about that? Okay. I don't like how anybody tried to ride MILF music when I. I don't like the way it just came out uh, when I was doing this edit that Blueface entertained um, the fact that he wanted Jaden to be on Crazy in Love when that show was supposed to be about him and Krishan Rock. Now, to me, that lets you know that he's disrespectful. Come on now. Started so Krishan was writing. If you want to sign under me, then cool. I'm big sis. You little sis, be that. But yeah. that's it. Didn't you say you wanted to raise her kid too? I never said that. Who, where'd that come from? I don't. And that the journey of your relationship, like y'all been together forever. Uh, like we're on our eleventh year now. That's what I'm saying. And that's twenty five eleven. That's like a lot of investment. Yeah. And she's I do think there's like stupid. some people like y'all will say, "Oh, she's stupid. She's this. She ain't she's going that. nowhere." I keep when trying really, to tell people y'all that y'all give up on somebody y'all meet in thirty days or whatever, and have like, one girl Fallon just says she got five baby daddies and four baby Who's daddies. Who's that? Girl, don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, but, 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 The thing about it is, I mean, there's something to be said, like fighting for something, I if, mean, you know, if it's worth it, is, is what's worth it, the, the investment you're having in your kids? Yeah. Okay. So you're going through fire for these children. I mean, I'm just not going to, same thing with the middle, how I started. That's really where the, the irritation came from for me. It was just kind of like. Because that was an idea you started together. Yeah. It, it was like, he started it, but I started. Like, how was you gonna be MILF music without MILF music? Mm -hmm. Like, what is going on? Like, so how long have you been rapping? Because this is starting to sound like Little Kim and Faith Evans, the no, first lady I mean, of Bad Boy. I, I, I'm not gonna ever compare myself to them, obviously, because they're legends. No, but, but you were the first lady of MILF music. For sure, yes. And um, I wanna say, I dropped that in June or July. I wanna say maybe May, whatever is right before March, April, May, mm -hmm. June. Yeah, like May ish i came to him i was like oh you know maybe we should drop a song or something or like I, we was drinking in the house and he came over to me and we was drinking i was like put me in he was like shut up and i'm like he's like what and i'm like yeah i'm being serious and i was like let's just see what happens because you know maybe i like it maybe we don't maybe i trash mm -hmm. or maybe we hit and he's like all right bet then he goes on then he gets arrested mm -hmm. and he's like oh come and get me was this for the first gun charge in vegas so the, he's the like, shooting or the, or the gun possession? That's up for speculation. Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, he's Allegedly. like, come and get me. So I'm like, come and get you in Vegas? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting outside the courthouse like, what's good? Right? Yeah. Come pick him up. And then he's like, we're going to the studio. I'm babysitter for the night because I came to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? We might as well. So we go to, we go to the studio, make Stewie. We're going to get to Stewie. So in Stewie, the lyrics you say, I'm just right the I'm just, I don't know how to rap. How you suck and still ain't met Cupid. I, I you love- You gonna pee? Yeah, I can go pee here. No, hold on. Y'all ain't finna have a meeting in the bathroom. No, I don't want to have a meeting in the bathroom. Because if y'all come in here and make a baby in the studio- No, really, he's so fired. He doesn't have a right home. Really? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, but these words. How you, how you suck and still ain't met Cupid. I love the way you love me. I love the way you love me. It's the only, it's the only ugly, ugly is you blind these three for that money. So what we saying? So, like, was that, like, a, was that blasting social media for saying you look like Stewie? Was it blasting her? It wasn't blasting nobody in particular. It was okay. blasting all, there's obviously multiple people, you said it earlier, that I get lots of hate on the internet, which is just beyond me, because I don't know, that was so out of the ordinary. But it was really for everyone that just be like, you know, because they all be saying I look like this, I be looking like that, whatever, and that's fine. But it was for everyone. If, it's, if the shoe fit, then it fit. Oh, you? Oh, because he been your only man. See, that's why I'm not a rapper. See, see but I mean, see, you but can't the, the break people, it down. The and people then thought you were talking about somebody else? I mean, and if you can, then whatever. So you let people run with whatever they want. Yeah, I mean, because that's the best part of it. Okay. Well, let's talk about Barbie, because there's a whole movie called Barbie, but exactly. in the movie. You said, first Angel lady, D. and I'm signed. Yeah, I'm sealed with a deal. You a little girl. You can't walk in these hills. I'm a wife. You a tribe. This need to heal. Sis, I'm a Barbie. Sis, still ain't seen a dentist. Can't keep him with a baby. Should have asked me. That the, Now, the dentist, the girl only got what one tooth missing. What you want to say? She got a tooth missing. Okay, but what's that, that got to do with me? Well, no, I'm saying... Was Barbie what? inspired by... She, she was an inspiration for this song. 
No, no, not at all. I mean, I know what you meant. Okay, so can I stop you? If you go back to I'm a Barbie, sis still ain't seen a dentist. No, no, no. You get the part where I said, I heard your snippet, sis. Da, 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 da. Okay. You get that part? But give it See, to me. See, that's not on there. Okay, but give it to me. Okay, I Who? heard your snippet, sis. Call my doctor. And I told him, snippet. That's because, that's what led this whole thing is because I, I heard a snippet about the of kids. someone talking. Your homegirl. Who's my homegirl? I don't Brianna? Know. Nope. Madonna? I don't know. Mariah? I mean, not those are my homegirls. Yeah, it certainly ain't okay. no one, Christian so, Rock. That's what sparked the whole thing. Okay, so that sparked, you saw something from her. I saw a snippet that said something about me only loving somebody when it's this or that. Okay. So don't talk about me. And also don't talk about my kids. Don't talk about this. Don't talk about that if you don't want me to talk about well, you can't blame her for saying only loving. Basically, she's referring to a uh, blue face when it's about money or something like that. Because cause that's what she's referring to. Like, you know, her getting something out of something. Because even blue face said it in the interview. You need to stop sipping, sis. Because he said this is why he dealt with Krishan. Because when a lot of people were around, you know, and felt he felt like he they just wanted him for what he could do for them. She was different. She was loving on him. She didn't want him for that. She wanted him for Blueface. Not his money, not his fame. Anything. Gotcha. So now, now in the credits, because you know, there's this whole conversation going on about ghostwriters and whether or not people ghostwrite lyrics. Jonathan Porter's name is in the lyrics and credit in the credits as a writer. So are you both like in a dark room? In the lyrics. The snippet part, isn't that about um, Little Man too? Because she said that uh, Krishan Rock was talking about her kids. Did y'all pay attention to that? Or maybe I took it wrong. With one candle burning, with slow music, creepy music, <laughs> plotting on lyrics to take down Krishan Rock and the whole legacy. No, 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 no. no, um, no. Because exactly. that one tooth line no, no. sounds like legacy. a The whole legacy, there's Porter. only our legacy. Okay. There's only me and his and our kids' legacy. Wow. For one and for two. I'm doing whatever I can do to just get the bag. Mm -hmm. And I'm right. If he helps me edit, that's, that's it. Because I don't know how to, obviously he's been in it longer than me. Right. So I, I, I have ideas and I know what I want to say. And he just tells me like, oh, maybe this word, this word, that is the bag, though. Isn't but it? I'm, I'm coming up with my ideas. I'm coming up with the lyrics. I'm coming up with the words and that's it. Okay. But why is he getting credit then? You're going to understand that both not signed to MILF music. Now, I hope y'all are paying attention. He's not, he has not even signed Jaden, and she got the history with him. Uh, Krishan Rock is not signed to MELF music. He manages them just by word of mouth, just by, which no, I don't go by that, honey. You put my name on a contract, so if you decide to kick me to the curb, I don't get left with, with dirt. I don't get left with a penny, okay, because that's what's going to happen. So what I'm trying to say is he's playing both of them. You need to listen right here to what, what Jason Lee is saying to Jaden. Uh, because he's my manager and that's daddy, period. But, but you You're know, not but even like, is that like Joe Jackson daddy where he's trying to get publishing rights to things he didn't even write? We're a team. Or, okay. We're a team. And if I'm getting credit, that's cool. If he's getting credit, even better. Whatever. Yeah, but you don't want him to get credit for publishing is where all the money is. I'm going to see that money. Okay. She's just. Um, you, I have a home. I have a home studio being built. I'm gonna see that money. You do realize you have two kids by a Tatiana. Now you see how stupid, in my opinion, Jaden sounds. She admits I don't. I'm not on contract. I'm not signed. But he's my manager. But nothing is no legal documentation. And same thing with um Krishan Rock. But I'm gonna get that money. I'm gonna get that money. People try to use that they laid up and had these kids and that they're going to get this money because of that. Girl, you might get money because you got them kids. That's probably the only thing saving you. If there was a split up, he's going to have to give you some coins off of all the effort you put in for milk music. But y'all would have to go into court and that would be a battle. So I don't understand why you are not demanding this man to put your name, your your John Hancock, on the dotted line, honey, and you're putting in the work. All right. Yeah, and I'm he, gonna see he that. He is that is King Tatiana back there. Even better. Uh, Blueface, can you come back to the interview? Yeah, he want to trail off and make video. Okay. <sighs> All right.
And now she you runs off. You do realize you're the actual Tatiana. I just realized that in this conversation, you're who you've been rapping about. Do you realize that? Tatiano. Tatiano, okay. The fight in court when they asked you about that shooting. Mm -hmm. you, you... <laughs> <laughs> Um, so when the guy stabbed you, you didn't feel like you should go and testify? Because I would testify. Nah. Get it back in blood, you know? Yeah, but we need to end gun violence. We need our Crips to stay on the streets. Like, why won't you just... I mean, he stabbed you in the gym. There's a video of you guys fighting. How do you get stabbed at the gym? What kind of gym you go to? Man, you know, it was crazy. Like, I'll tell you the story. Um, pulled up to the gym, went across the street to get a water. I had a water. There was a girl on the phone. She just gave me the weirdest vibe. Like, she didn't say nothing to me, but she just kept looking at me and talking on the phone. Because she recognized you. Looking at me, talking on the phone. And I was just like, okay. That seems like, you know, a red flag. But, you know, I didn't pay no attention to it. 30 minutes into my workout, this guy walks in like, yo, you want to fight? What's up? You want to fight, big dog? You know, I see the dog. I see his pocket knife. I'm like, bro, what? who are you? Like, what? You didn't come here to fight nobody. I don't know what just happened here. I don't know what just happened here. Hold on one second, guys. It's ridiculous. I don't know what just happened. I'm trying to keep this. All right, I'm going to have to probably remove this and then put it back on here if I can remove it from studio. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll definitely um, share it again. Hold on. Chris Sean Rock got arrested going to Blueface's on, uh, court hearing. Got to get to the 28 mark. Like, she didn't say nothing to me, but she just kept looking at me and talking. Because she phone, recognized you. Looking at me, talking on the phone. And I was just like, okay. That seems like, you know, a red flag. Exactly. He's on the phone with Rock, Rosen. 30 minutes into my workout, this guy walks in like, yo, you want to fight? What's up? You want to fight, big dog? You know, I see the dog. I see his pocket knife. I'm like, bro, what, who are you? Like, what? You didn't come here to fight nobody with all this. When he got shanked up, if I'm not mistaken, they were looking for houses. And that's the, um, around the time when, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Krishan Rock wanted a penthouse. And they had gotten into a fallout. And, and I guess he went to the gym or whatever. And that's when he got shanked up. And then um, Rock disappeared. Remember that? So this story he's telling you is when he was actually with Rock. Director Gadget. So that's why I'm like, who are you? What are you talking about? Like, yo, you want to fight, bro? Like, come on. You like to, you like to do this? And I'm like, and you exactly, no Star. Idea. That's what I was just saying, too. Are you, I'm two, 46. Two, I'm just saying a generational gap. Older, like, you know, there's yeah. no way we could have the same accomplices. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, bro, you want to fight? Like, put some gloves on. Let's, I'm, I'm in the box, still let's spar. He's like, nah, let's do bare knuckles, bare hands. I'm like, yeah, are you tough like that, huh? All right. So that's when my trainer jumps in the way. He's like, hold on, bro, hold on. So when my trainer started talking to him, I'm like, man, I'm finna get off on him. Boom. Hiya, hiya. There was a pole right behind him. If you see, he was about to fall on his back. And if he would have failed, I would have got on top of him and did all type of stuff to him, you know? None, none of the LGBT pause, community that's pause, type of stuff. Was, none that of that type pause. of stuff. <laughs> but the pole caught him. So when the pole catch him, I try to throw two more, and I just noticed he trying to get his distance. So when somebody's trying to get their distance, okay, you have something that you're trying to, you know, get to. So when he try to get his distance, I get my distance, because I seen a knife, but I, I don't know if he got a gun or what. So I, when he gets, I get my distance. I'm like, oh, you finna pull that knife out, ain't you? He's like, yep, I sure am. He pulled that knife out, Jason. I start running like oh, as you're God. supposed to. I'm not finna lie to you. I turned around, jumped in the ring. He running at me like the boogeyman, like this. So when I jump in the ring, 
You're not very my liked, I guess. Mm. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, he's serious. He gonna... What was the purpose, though? I have no idea. And you don't know him and never saw him before? Never seen him. He's out of my age group. I have nothing. He's no always food, nothing into something. New. Like, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me, literally. So when I jump in the ring and he hit me, I'm like, okay, he's serious. So he jump in the ring, I jump out the ring and I run out. I run out. With a blood, with that big old cut. Yeah, I didn't know I was cut though, because mm. my adrenaline's running. So mm. I didn't know I was cut. I run out, I try to barricade him in. He's seeming more understanding, more, you know, aware of his actions, and he just kind of like mellows out. So when I let the door go, he walks out, he puts the dog in his car, he get in his car. I'm still mad, I start punching the car. Wait, <clears throat> so he start acting like nothing just happened? Yeah, he start acting like, I don't know if I, because I punched him, it made his adrenaline burst to where it's like, I'll stab you. But after that, he, he acted like he was trying to escape. So I start punching his car, breaking the windows. Boom! Oh boy. Boom, I'm shattering the windows, he drive off. My trainer flagged the police down. They come in, hey, you okay? You wanna go to the doctor? No, what's your name? Nothing. So you're stabbed, you're bleeding, you don't go to the doctor, why? Yeah, cause we'll build a case. You know, if I go in the ambulance, then the police They're gonna come investigate that. another. It okay. becomes out of my say so. So no, I don't wanna go to the doctor, I'm fine. Did he have any tattoos? I don't know anything. I didn't see him. Now, here's the question I have, because Wack was on my podcast years ago where he said, because I'm a civilian. Everybody knows that I call the FBI and police. That's my, that's my thing. Uh, or the <laughs> White House you the I, 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 If you ever the White do House anything, or the I'm telling. Now, now, if we hang out. As, as you should. No, but we hang out. You do something. That's your business. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you do something to me, I'm telling. Yeah. Now, as a, as a civilian, but as a person who's from the streets, in that scenario, that wasn't a street thing. That was a civilian thing. Do the rules still apply? 100%, yeah. I mean, the rules apply all the yeah, time. Yeah, I can it's, believe it's it, Angela. A very sucky rule book, but the only way you can, the only way you telling is justified is if you got to shoot somebody or anything <laughs> based off def defense. And you have to explain and it. And you're the only person to tell the story. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you'll get away with it. Wack was on the podcast and also said that applies to children. If somebody hurt his child or stabbed or shot his child, that they he couldn't cooperate with the police. You agree with that too? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, only way you can, I mean, for what? What they gonna do, put him in jail? He's still gonna be living. Yeah. You want that man to be deceased, right? If your right. child is not coming back. Okay, you know, don't incriminate yourself. All jail gonna do is Save him. So the case didn't go nowhere because you didn't cooperate. Exactly. And you followed the street rules and he's out stabbing more people. Well, basically, my trainer made a report. He turned himself in. Jason Lee oh, said, so I, I would have. I, I would have. Uh, yeah, he went to jail. Reported yeah. this. Out. I didn't leave no statement. I didn't show up to court. So, of course, the DA has no choice but right. to drop the case. But. And then you, uh, I, I had heard that you were going to court and were facing prison time. I was trying to get this interview before that because I didn't know what was going to happen. Right, right. You, you literally, I don't know what kind of luck you have or what kind of support you have or if God is just you know, watching the Zeus Network and supporting you more. You go to court for a shooting that you allegedly, cases. I'll say allegedly, were involved in yeah. where there's a video. I mean, that case is done, so we could talk about it. Okay, so really there's a happened? video where it says you, where you shot at this guy. You know what really happened? Yes, I'll put the um, IG okay. link in the um, chat for you. Then he came to court, too. So we had the strip club. Um, we walk outside the strip club, about to leave. Um, I don't know which, who, or what did what, but this guy is being beat up. I never spoke to him. I never touched him. I never talked to him. So after he gets beat up, he decides to go to his car and I guess pull back up to confront the people that beat him up. So he pulls up. I don't know what car. Like I said, I have no interaction with this gentleman, so I don't know anything about the situation. All don't I know him. Don't know him. Nothing about him. Nothing. Why he got beat up. I don't know why anything happened to him. All I know is he pulls up in the pickup truck, who the f with the window down, and he stops right in front of us. And with the window down, I'm thinking he finna start shooting. Mm -hmm. In self-defense or whatever. Exactly. Okay, so. Like, I'm a real f So boom, I, f I got a gun on me, but I can't. Pull up. Uh -huh. Boom.
it on. Are you secretly using your pen to help her attack Krishan Rock with the music? No, 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 not at all. I mean, <clears throat> so the process is I'm more of an executive producer. That's why you hear my ad libs and my background. Obviously, I'm a professional He's musician. That whole show. You know, she's just getting into it. She want to try. She's intrigued. She's you know interested. So she'll come with most of the concepts, most of the ideas, and I really just play off that. Mm -hmm. I'm not here. I wrote this for you, you know. She's more facilitating I know of the topic and what what she wants to produce. That's why I had forwarded it to um to this part here because I don't want to hear that um bad boy story that he didn't made up. He even got the outfit on looking like he's in the bad boys movie. <laughs> Boy, bye. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm not writing for her. Mm -hmm. She's, it's like a, it's a process, you know? It's like mm -hmm. we experimenting. So now that, so your relationship with her and your relationship with Krishan and all your fame on social hey, media, Mr. do you feel like Real. that's eclipsed your music career? Oh, uh, I think it makes people want to hear what I have to say. Yeah, I think they want to hear. They're both crazy. What the topics I'm speaking. Krishan crazy too. But I don't. I don't got nothing to do with Krishan. Yeah. This is milk. Yeah. Me, me and Jaden. But, but you would have right music, now. Like, are you back focused though. on your music and letting the music? Um. Because Tatiana, that song and the remix because... when you were doing music was like a huge hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, me as far as music, what I can tell you, Jason, is when Tatiana was at his best, when I was at my highest, when I was the best artist to everybody, it didn't do anything for me. I didn't feel the best. I didn't, I wasn't happier than I am today. I wasn't, it didn't do anything for me. So that's where I kind of lost the passion for it. And honestly, it makes me more happier to see her progression than my own. Mm -hmm. Oh, so please. When I She's take making artist, your money for you, honey. I kind of lose my artistry out of it because it's just like, we can't both be, it's gotta be one. Mm -hmm. So that's the gift and the curse with me being like a manager. It's like, I kind of say phone artistry, which is. But that's guess, that's interesting you say that because it's evident. Like yeah, when, which is kind of bad for me, I guess, in a way. But I really focus on her artistry, which is the best for my client, right? As a manager, mm -hmm. I can't even though she's be not signed, either record, one of them are. Right? Gonna, <laughs> how are you all managing this manager? baby mom, future wife, because she said you have to put a ring on her, you're out right, right. at some point. It's coming. Okay. You're going to marry her? He, he, yeah, he yeah. did get if it. Anybody. She did get it, but that didn't mean nothing. Anybody I would ever consider it over here. Will that have validated for you all the bitch you threw? Not validated. Will that make it worth I, it? Will I it mean, make it worth it? Yeah, does that make it worth it? Don't try to take my job. I, I mean, not, not necessarily validate because it's never okay, all the stuff that he's done, obviously. But does it make the for better or for worse when it was absolute worse worth yeah, it? does it make it worth it to hear me yeah, saying that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, just only only because like not everyone can just like stand through what I stood through for right. him. Like, if you have to be better for worse for somebody. For I'm better for worse or for him. So if he can't make those vows for me, then you out. My friend's mom and dad met like, and then two weeks later, they got engaged and married and then, like, been together 37 years. I'm like, how did this... Yeah, well, that's not, crazy. Well, we're not friends anymore. But anyway, uh, he when he said that, I was like, how did they make that work? Because I'm, like, trying to figure out how to make this thing I'm in now work. And they said, in life, you're going to go through stuff. You got to decide who you want to go through it with. And that's an excellent point because that has a lot to do with her music. Listen to this part, guys. The music is, like, very, like, you know, when I never lay down with another man. And I commend her for that. I applaud her for that because at the end of the day, Jason, you gotta pick one. But why don't you pick the same? Why don't you pick not? I mean, men and women are different. You know, I feel like women have to pick one, and men kind of have to. Okay, optionalize sweetie. The best for them because as a man, we don't get the best. We don't get the. We get the short end of the stick regardless. Dealing with a woman. Explain that. Um, if if we go to the gym and I lift 200 pounds, she lifts 100 pounds, she's gonna win that content, All right? They're gonna say, wow, she lifted 100 pounds. She lifted, mm -hmm. she's, she lifted more than we expected, right? If we go to, if we get in a fight and she could whip my, she's still gonna win that battle, right? If I lose, right? It's just, 
women outshine men regardless. Like, well, because you're saying that like there's un, there's different expectations of men versus women. More women, more women that a man sleeps with, the more value he has. The more men that a woman sleeps with, the less value she has. Perfect. But that's not fair. It's, it's not, not fair. It's not fair. But who's in control of that? So if, what if I slept with ten women? Then what? Is well, that devalued? Well, you wouldn't be gay. Yeah. He sleep with. Right. Look. I can prime see, example. I am gay. Prime example. That's not fair. That's See, not fair, right? When, no, listen, women's... no, listen. That's not fair that if she sleeps with a woman, she's not gay. Right. If I sleep with one man, I'm gay forever. I can't I not come back from that right? at all. That's all my point is. That's not fair. We have to, it's, it's not fair, but we have to live. Okay, with it, but right? you have to you you have to live back to what you say was the gender roles, right? Yeah, so you can't be mad about, about that. The gender roles. Okay. No, I'm not mad at it at all. But females seem to be mad at it when it doesn't. No, but, but goes, you seem to be mad about it when it don't fit you. Yeah, because exactly. like if she was to go out on a date with one guy, uh-huh. you would just a date shoot effort. him. Exactly. Yeah. You can leave here tonight and on and the go way see, home. Exactly. Exactly. Drop. It's not it's fair. It's not fair. I'm advocating for that. But why don't you, you, you be the change and stop it? Because it ain't, ain't gonna, gonna happen. happen. So would you You're disagree them? that if I sleep with one man, I'm gay forever, and if she sleeps with one well, woman? Well, I don't believe that, but society does. Exactly. Yeah. So that, okay. that, we got to go with society, man. We can't make our own rules. No, I don't. I, actually, I've actually, I've actually, I've That's actually never met boy. her. I actually never met her. I've met DG. I think he's great. I know yeah. he's a Libra. He's cool. He's a nice guy. Before though, she, she has shown me love before, and Ariel was very cute. Um, I don't know her though, but if that is the case, because you're being, I know what you're doing. If that is the case, I wish nothing but the best. Um, that's his homeboy, he knows what's going on. I don't know, but all I know is that that is the case. I wish the best. If not, girl, take a shot, we can hang out. You better beat me to the phone because I'm gonna text DDG that in an interview you told me that he was expecting just to get his response. (laughs) You better text him right now. Text him right now, then (laughs) I'm gonna wait till I'm I'm (laughs) done. Okay, um. So you seem like a girl's girl. Are you a girl's girl? I'm all for the girls. Because even though you haven't said Krishan's name in this interview, why did your friend go and do all that shady stuff on live? Which friend? Uh, one of your friends was live. Was about the baby stuff? Yes. You know which friend. She was your all in the camera. Was it was like your friend who you wants to be it. famous. Wait, when, time, when was it? She was on live talking about how the baby's back was ended up. You know what he's talking about. Stop being stupid. Was it like a week ago? It was a while ago. The, most, the only time. What do you yes. Mean? You, I don't know. You were in the car off camera. She was on. This is when you have friends who want clout. No, I don't think I was there. Yeah, she might not have been there. I don't think I, I was think there. I think you seen it, though. You didn't see that where she was alive? What was the what was the girl saying? For the show? I don't think I was in the car. What? Nobody's telling you in the Wait, car. Wait, what was the girl saying? Uh, Blueface, what was the girl she saying? She was talking about her back in the Walmart video. Yes, your friend was making your a friend. joke about the it. video with Krishan and Yeah, I don't think I was in the car, but I don't it. know. I don't know how, I don't know. What'd she say? She was basically making a joke out of it. I don't know. I can't speak for, I don't, that's why I don't speak on nothing. You know. It just gets Stop misconstrued. Lying. But make sure you're friends, because the blogs wouldn't pick it up if you're friends, you know. Because, see, they not. Because all the dirt he does is all him. Like, you're beat, you know. Yeah. yeah you got to control You got to protect that yeah. brand. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be the first lady of MILF music, are they going to be like the spoiled milk? For sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Let's move on. Where's this picture at that you're supposed to send me? I just accepted uh, your, your, uh, your friend request or whatever it's called when you have to uh, accept the messages. Okay, so let's talk about the music. She's talked about getting into music and, and you really supporting her wanting to explore this career. What do you want to get out of doing music? And why, and, and That's why she do, don't remember. Do you want people to take you serious given that it's in the context of like all this chaos that's on online no i do definitely want to be taken serious even though that might be the case because that's what it is going on maybe i'll take it to my advantage but i definitely want to be taken serious i didn't start it just because it was that i started because i came to him like why not let's let's try it because if it hit it like if it was gonna go it was gonna go if it didn't then all right well at least we tried but i'm definitely taking it serious yeah like i'm taking it serious and i'm not gonna stop so Mm -hmm. Jaden, keep going What's your relationship like with Carlissa? There isn't one. Me or him? You. you. Oh, nothing. Do you she's, like her? She's blocked on right now. Right. Your mother is 
so active on social media. You know, I don't be want. She came to my birthday party. No it's disrespect. Hard, it's hard not to. I would know. never be rude to you, Carlos. Because it's your mom. I'm always right, you know, right. But she That's came cool. to my birthday party. I, I don't know how she got there. I know I invited you. Did you tell her about it? I don't know how she got there. Because she popped up, um, and she's very active on social media now. Yeah. She she's. Do, what do you feel about that? Because I asked you last time, you didn't really comment on it. But like, you know what? At first, I really didn't like it, and. I was kind of against it, but now seeing where she's trying to do with it, you know, I get it. You know, everybody has that time of social media where they're willing to do or say anything that will get that attention that they're seeking, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a drug. So once they get that first high, man, they gonna keep, you know, hitting it for that. So I'm just glad that she's making her own sitcom out of it, her own, her own name for it. And I'm proud of it. You know, I, even though I don't agree with half, if not everything she goes publicly and promotes, mm -hmm. i just proud of the family show that she's trying to, you know, the mm -hmm. sit talks thing that she's trying to yeah. do. I see you promote it too. I appreciate you. I, I don't know our paid advertising program. I just... No, no, I know. <laughs> you just seen the clips. Yeah, 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 I, I see it, yeah. You just see like... I okay, thought you I were behind that, honestly, when I saw Star, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. You see Carlissa lies, and so does Blueface. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. I, that, that's what I commend about it. That's what I respect about it, that she's 100%. That's sole proprietor of it. So it's mm. like, okay. She's doing her own thing. I respect that. So when she's telling Michael Jordan that, she, that he can give her a call. Like I said, I don't <laughs> agree with half, if not everything that she She told Michael Jordan public. that she was going to help him with his child. And the relationship. I mean, he supports Jay so, did. but he one of those. You see what I'm I saying? No, you, but I, he one of those. He but I mean, like, so you basically, can't, you can't backhand support. So basically, it. you support she, it or you don't. Basically, she's saying he's going to teach Michael Jordan. She's going to teach Michael Jordan how to deal with his son's girlfriend because he it. somehow. Don't has, she has, I don't support none of that. You. Don't put me on that. He Make sure y'all hit that like button okay. on the way in or um, out. Thank you. What did you think about his mom wanting to hook him up with Megan Thee Stallion? What I think about it, it was a clout reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the clout reach went backwards. Like, it's cool. I, I don't think anything that. happened with Megan the sound in him. Next question. <laughs> you slept with Megan? Jason, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. In a roundabout way. Are you saying you slept with Megan the Stallion? Didn't say that. Did he sleep with Megan the Stallion? I don't know, but it will really give me an Snow. insight if you do. If he did, let me know some. You should have been there, done that. That's all right. That's not the first place he got okay. on a platform and said he'd been with Megan Thee Stallion. That's where his mother's running with it. A long time ago. Oh, so he's saying a Stop. long time ago. A long, J.D., you know about that, don't No, I don't. Why? Don't include me in that. You're talking to him. Don't include me in that. Like, a long time ago. He's straight be disrespecting Jaden. Why are you looking like that? For real? Jason, I've been in the I've Why? Been, because I never I've been in the game in a long in... time, Jason. Like double XL freshman. He is like, so immature. Five years ago. Like B T awards, like I know like five years ago. <clears throat> I did all of the stuff already. I'm where I'm at doing what I want to do by choice. You how know long, you're the reason why Koi LeRae doesn't like me because she, I had you on my show and yeah, she. Yeah, been there, done that already, Jason. Come on, man. Like, come on, bro. I don't, I don't say too much, but you know, if 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 I ask, if you know, I will. You know, I'm gonna give you nothing but the truth. Mm. He said, mm. <sighs> "Okay, so Mills never Music, lost who words. else are you going to sign? To is it just your focus now on your artist? Your yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so." Once she's already out of here, then we'll grab somebody else. That's what's so kind of fishy about this whole thing. And I and I believe that there's, there, there's an agenda going on prior to Blueface getting locked up. This video live, well, interview, was done in October of 2024. Now, when Krishan Rock got missing from social media, guys, she was with Blueface. Okay, all those months that she was gone, she was gone. She just disappeared. The social media went dry. She was with Blueface. 
She brought in Christmas and the New Year's with him. And she went to court with him when he had to surrender himself to probation and do this, I think, seven-month sentence, which he would have been out. But they found a cell phone, allegedly, and uh, a substance in his room. So now he's getting sentenced, allegedly, to some more time before he gets out. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Why are you saying all of this when around that time you were either um, talking with Krishan Rock, um, you know, in conversation about getting back together, making it work for for the fit your family that you made with Krishan Rock and so on and so forth. But you're on this interview saying once we get rid of or once she leaves type of thing, once we let out the trash type of thing, we're going to go on as a family. You know what I'm saying? And and this is our legacy, MELF music and, and, and apparel, and do our big one. But right now as we speak, in uh, the year 2024, you're back with Krishan Rock. You're both locked up, but you're technically back with Krishan Rock. But every time you have a court appearance, you're inviting um, Jaden Alexis and Krishan Rock. Who does not see through that he's going to do the same thing, padding up behavior, he's not getting rid of neither one of them. And both of them are accepting of the roles that they play and they're accepting of that he's going to be with Jaden when he wants to be and vice versa. So why would he buy the car when the milk is for free? And they claim this man really loves her. Right. That's my thing. That's why when people say, well, why did you bring up this old video that I actually had to edit, which was a three-hour video, I could block you, really, because what I'm trying to tell you is what has changed. He's doing the same thing from jail. The girl missed the curfew, and the man dragged her name. Okay? He said if she fought the wrong way, she's out of here. So what makes you think that he has changed? Wasn't he when um, this when he did the commercial and he was with Rock? Yep. Yes, ma'am, he was. So, you know, it's just. People got to stop with this. He's so in love with so-and-so and and they're going to ride off into the sunset. I don't think so. If he has a choice, he'd ride off into the sunset with both of them and still have other women on the side with having the both of them. Say if they agreed to a polygamy, Jaden Alexis and Christian Rock, he still would be um, cheating on both of them. I will say I like how you handle yourself. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Because somebody does. Don't do that. I don't even know. Anyway, thank you. That show was like years ago, kid. I don't give a fuck. Years ago, my Rolex don't say that. So what are you talking about? Want to talk about years ago? Can I get a Anyway, no. Anyway. Yeah, I heard heard the interview. Watch out. I saw it. Who would you want to collaborate with? Um, good question. Um, actually, yes, I'm, I, I feel did. like the girls are taking over, actually. Lotto, JT, um, who else is taking over? I mean, um, you got City Girls. I mean, female uh, Yeah, like, the collab. There's so many it, yeah, women. it wouldn't even matter who it was. Yeah, the City Girls is a collab. Uh, Lotto, any any of the girls that's taking over right now, I really am all for that. <laughs> like, this is looking like, look, I got some tea, huh? <laughs> Well, I just think, I think the girls are taking over, so I would appreciate any girl collab. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't even matter who it was coming for, if they was below, higher, I think the girls like are taking that. over. So. Well, I, I said um, recently, I think on Twitter, Complex picked it up. I said, I, female beef is bad for hip hop. Like, I come from an era where, like, I'm old. Like, I well, know. it just puts everyone, like, at odds. Like, that you makes pick sense. Who is this and who's that? Mr. Real. Like, what's the problem, though? Right. Like, you know. And so. the men don't do that. Yeah, so yeah. I would be all for any girl collab. It wouldn't matter if they're coming from here or there. I'd be all for it. Would you collaborate with Gunna? Would I collaborate with Yeah. Gunna? Yeah, I already got collabs with Gunna. Not now. After the whole YSL yeah. thing, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know the situation enough. That to, dude know, is a slime ball. To, he could have took a plea deal to where, you know, it was a plea deal. Of course, 
don't know, man. That situation's tricky just because nobody's really advocated for right and wrong and who snitched and who did you know? Mm-hmm. Once somebody actually comes out and speaks out and says what he said, you know, my case. Mm. Until Thug speaks, yeah, everybody I mean, should just in leave In a way, it. yeah. In a way, because at the end of the day, he's the only, he's the only person that can mm-hmm. be snitched on. So, How do you and Wack work? Because Wack don't give about anything. And I love how you stay out of everything except for your own. I like, mean, Wack is, um, I guess he he's on the red side of things. I'm on the blue side of things. Mm-hmm. So it's really like good cop, bad cop. Mm-hmm. You know? So Wack decides to press somebody or do too much with them, I might smooth it over so it doesn't reflect our business. You know what I'm and saying? And vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah. If I do too much to somebody, he'll step in and reflect. So it, it works out perfectly, right? You're like a completely different person today. That's so crazy than our last interview. What does that mean? Because he's happy like, he's about to go see like, Jaden later. You dress well, you're mm-hmm. articulate, you're engaged. You know, you're he giving us what he knows what he needs to give. He he, he, he he's knows the what he's not mind. gonna get when he get home. I'll tell you that he might get left at the parking lot. We seem to be fine. <laughs> All right, well let's Yeah, you know what I'm looking right now for that um that commercial he did for Zeus Network. I'm looking for it right now as we speak. I was trying to look on Zeus's page, but he got so many. Hold on one second. Blue face. Commercial Zeus Network. I'm I'm trying to look it up now. I yep yep yep. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me see with the tie. The tie is a different color, I think. Hold on. Is the tie a different color? Yeah, the tie was uh red here. Yeah. But yeah, let me pull that up. Could have just changed the tie, but we about to play this right here. Are y'all referring to this one too? Cause he no, he did two of them. He did one. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. We'll see in a minute. Hold on. Thought it was two of them. It's a beautiful day at Zeus today. It's a beautiful day at Zeus today. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Hello, everyone. I am back. I know it's been a while since the last time you see me. I've uh, moved on from the big baby to a Barbie. And as you can see, it is still a vibe all the time. I can take water, turn it to wine. I can take a bitch that can see and make her blind. Yeah, we already know that. <laughs> so, if you would like to join this movement, pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you next. We are looking for the best, the newest, the most original female rap artists that we can find. I love women. You've seen what I've done with Jaden. You've seen what I've done with Krishan. I value women from all walks of life. There's no weight limits, no height limits. We might take a fat bitch, we might take a midget. I would like to invite you to audition for my show, Rap Queens West. We're looking to give away a million dollar deal. Now I'm trying to see, that there was another one where he was inside of the office. Let me see, where's the other one where he was inside the office? That's the one I wanted to show you guys. If I can find it. But I don't know. I might not be able to find that one. But there was one where he he walked into the office. Y'all remember that one too. Where is it at? No, it's not it. Yeah. Let me see. Hey, sis. 
no weight limits. So, right, Blue or Rock posted that. Using them to as an example is not the way, right? Man, let me tell you something. That dude is a mess. I can't believe that they fell for the banana and the tailpipe. But I'm telling y'all, put a Y in the chat if you think Jaden's going anywhere when Blueface gets out. I'm curious to see how many people think that Jaden is going to bounce, that she's going to allow Krishan Rock to have her man. Put a Y in the chat. I want to see how many Ys I see if you think that I think she's going to, yes, she's going to stay with Blueface and put up with Blueface's mess. Says that video of Rock saying she's Red Rum and man in the interview is crazy. Yeah, she said it flat out. But, you know, I don't know if it was for attention or if it was true. I wasn't there. So all statements are allegedly and I'm not saying it because, you know, I don't believe that it, it is possible, but I just don't want to run into no um, situation on my channel because, you know, the allegations is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So as, you know, it stands on my channel, all statements are allegedly. And um, we got to keep it like that just to keep the channel safe. And that's it, really. It says the gloves, the glasses, the hair, the clothes. <laughs> she probably won't leave, but that would be the smartest thing. She, right. It, it would be. She said it, not you. Yeah, I heard it when she said it because she was, it was two dudes on the interview. She was in the middle rolling up a little blizzy. So I know what you, I know what video you're talking about. And I was like, there we go again, sharing too much information that don't need to be shared. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And, um, you know, and that was also around the time. I think the algorithm hears everything. So when, when YouTubers start to bring up, rehash old stuff, like there was a uh, channel holder in particular, and please don't put that person's name in my chat. But when they started rehashing, about that situation with that guy and they were bringing up footage of where it happened, the hallway um, uh, of the where the alleged unaliving happened. The algorithm started pulling up um, interviews where she had mentioned it. And there was one interview, she was with two guys. She was sitting in the middle on the couch and she was rolling and she talked about that then, and I was kind of shocked. I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, what are they putting in this weed? Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. So, yeah, it, it, it's crazy. It really is. But listen, guys, I'm not going to stay. Let me see. She wants the bag. She ain't going to go in the Of course. And, and when she said that in this interview, um, Susan Moore, that she wants the bag and she ain't going nowhere. She's still thinking that way. How would she look to allow Blueface to get out? Now, she's been the face for MELF music. She's been the one that we see on her IG stories, popping bottles in clubs, walking out with a bag, singing one of her little singles, and it's under MELF music. Um, coming out with different MELF music, um apparel which ain't nothing that i would buy but i'm just saying this is for for blueface's company remember she's not contracted with blueface so she's working for blueface blueface while he's in jail why would she give all of that up just to say okay well if krishan and blueface are going to be together i'm gonna let them be together krishan never gave her that option so why would she give krishan that option and, and, and just say, listen, I'm going to stay out the way. No, she's not going to do that. She corrected herself afterwards, though. That's not a normal mistake. That It, it really isn't. And, and I'm not even entertaining that. 
I wouldn't even say said that out my mouth to have to correct myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know uh, the limitation or the um, expiration on on alleged unalivings that maybe you didn't get accused of doing. Somebody else took the rap for allegedly it was Ronnie, but you don't need to have them, um, you know, bring them bring that back up, and then you're found guilty. Jade is not going nowhere because Blue is the only man she will willing to deal with, but she's rather be with woman, right? And he allows her to do that as well. That's how he keeps her where he wants her at because he knows when he goes off with with Krishan Rock, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna allow her to be with a man, but she can be with women. And he's okay with that because a woman, I guess, is not a threat to some men. They don't look at it as a woman's cheating when it's with a when, when it's with with a woman. But when you're doing it, if she was doing it with a man, then she'd have a problem. So yeah, that's how he keeps her afloat. Ronnie admitted he did that bid, which he already did his time for it and had witnesses. So that's what it. I disagree, child. Not my business. I, I don't even want to get into talking about no unalivings and stuff like that. All I know is that I wasn't there. You wasn't there. Nobody was there. And, you know, I don't want to rehash stuff like that because those are serious allegations. And whether or not Krishan Rock could get in trouble for it or not, it's just, it has nothing to do with that. It's just not, it's not something I really want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? That's the past, you know, if if that's how they, um, you know, did that case and Ronnie did the time, then okay, that's how it went. But I wasn't there in the flesh, so everything is allegedly. All things are allegedly, and that's as far as I'm going with it. You know, I'm not going to um, elaborate on that. Secretly, she might be hoping that he chooses her. Right, exactly. So you just never know how things will turn out with uh, Blueface because Blueface is a very selfish individual. He's definitely not going to be with one man. Exactly. She learned from Blueface that it is what it is. Right, exactly. And she's living on that. Exactly, SL, because folks be willing to believe anything negative from the past and all right and we gotta live in a in, in in the current time now me bringing up this live interview that uh jason lee brought up i'm just telling you that i don't see any behavior changes with Blueface, and i don't see any changes with him when he gets out it got dropped because it was self-defense don't know why we bring it up back. Well, I didn't bring it up at all. And matter of fact, the person that brought it up is this person right here. So it's right here. Okay. This is the person right here. And and it says right here. Okay. All right. So that's who brought it up. And I have no control. Um, I have no control over what people put in my chat because I'm trying to talk, commentate, and also pay attention to you guys. Read the comments, pin the comments, even if I'm not reading the comments, to uh, let you know that I acknowledge that you're there. So I have, a, you know, and a lot of times I drop the link people don't want to get up. But then sometimes I don't want you to come up anyways because you get up here and you get, you get the cussing. You don't mean it, but it just comes out because you're used to talking like that. So, you know, I just prefer to do all the talking and um, read your comments. You like to keep it churchy. <laughs> they love using the against rock right using that against rock 
let's leave the topic alone. I respect your platform. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Just leave it alone. I wasn't saying you. I meant like in general, but I definitely know the channel who keep making. I know it too. Cha. I know who you're talking about too that brings it up. And that channel holder had an argument going back and forth a couple of months ago with the channel holder that's a supporter of Krishan Rock. And she brought up um, uh, receipts trying to expose that supporter of Krishan Rock that's a channel holder. And she basically was saying, you're not going to stop me from talking about or saying how I feel about Krishan Rock. And she's the one that brought it up. And we're not going to name drop. But Buttercup, by what you just heard me say, do you? am I talking about the same person you're talking about without you name dropping? Thank you for everything you do. You're appreciated. Thank you, Susie Moore. So I know who you're talking about, too. And continues on a regular basis um, dragging Krishan Rock's name. You know, she might not even feel that way about Krishan Rock, but she knows that by um, swaying that way, that she's a hater of Krishan Rock, even though she's saying that she has nothing against Krishan Rock. Um, you know, that she gets an audience. Now, if I was on the hate train, I would have quadrupled the amount of people in my chat. And it's so weird because even when I, even though people know I support Krishan Rock, but I'm not going to tell her what she wants to hear. I'm going to tell her what she needs to hear. Even though, yet and still, I, people know this, they still will sit there and say, oh, all you do is um, defend Krishan Rock, or all you do is talk bad about Krishan Rock. They don't know what side they want to be on. And to me, it's funny. So that's why I can't take people serious at times. But some fire, it says, put some fire in your commentary. You know what? Let me put you out of my chat. How about that? Buttercup, remove this peasant right here. Remove that peasant, Buttercup. Don't put him in timeout. Just remove him. Buttercup. Jaden should know that it's not Krishan. The problem. It's blue face. It's always it's always the man's the problem when it's a, when it's a similar situation like this. The man has a, a side. I mean, a main chick. Then he starts cheating with with uh, another woman or or, or uh, many women, and he's telling um, the men. I mean, he's telling the the women one thing on this side and telling the main chick something on the other. Don't like it, leave exactly. Let me see something, yeah. So, you know, you know, but see, they have to be the bigger person and pretty much, you know, say, you know, I'm not gonna be um tolerating this. Bye, you can window lick now. What is the name of your generic channel? B5662. Bye, troll. You'll be missed. Now you can window lick or you can take all your days making new pages, which is so time consuming, but you probably have some issues and you probably need to seek some counseling. And now you can spend all your days creating Gmail accounts so you can come back in here and get blocked again. Quality is nice, but... uh quality is better no quant what is it you mean quantity is nice what is it no quality is nice but quality is better what does that mean susan yep bye felicia you can window lick i can I, um i can see them right now with their tongue right up on the uh, window licking it or oh, it's stuck to the window until the woman come together and make men accountable it'll continue to happen exactly Hey, Rosen, you're right. It is going to continue to happen until they put their foot down. And if they don't put their foot down, why should he change? Why buy the cow when the milk's for free? That's how I look at it. And that's just the bottom line. And he's not 
he's not planning on budging on, he says all men cheat. So to him, that is the norm. He thinks that that's normal, what he's doing. So you can't fault him for that. Because he's telling you exactly what he's doing. And that's he's being a man. And he's going to cheat. So you can't fault him for that. Right? And men don't respect you when you let it happen as well. And a lot of times, and that's funny you said that, T Miss Taylor, because a lot of times women think that if I subject myself to this kind of mental abuse, he's going to love me more because I stood through the thick and the thin. No, he's going to say, he's probably even going to say, if she's allowing me to do this to her, she'll let any man do this to her. So why should I respect her? No, they don't want, it says, no, they won't be missed. Go over there. It says, let's just say this. It's a highly support by Christian fans. They got her suddenly switched. Now she spends her lives referring to them. Yes, I already know who you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. Buttercup, right. You didn't even have to say the rock tards because we, right, we already knew that. That's almost like saying her channel name. But, right, that's who I knew who you were referring to. Did y'all see the live video of Rock saying to Jaden, since you think I want your man, I'm going to take him? No, I didn't see that video. If you got a link, DM me. She probably said that in an older video when she was, uh, on the uh well after the baddies the blue girls club ended and his yep and his mama condones it and that's so sad she condones it yep pick a side get hurt her fault that was before the tattoo right that's what i'm saying so it had to be after the blue girls club Right, that's right. Around the all right, so it was around that time, I, because there's a lot of things that I've heard her say before she started getting tattoos. She didn't have money back then. I think she had like a little apartment going on for herself, but um, she um, yeah, she wasn't famous yet. So you have to be talking about when she wasn't famous yet. Unpopular opinion: I never bought into side chicks, main chick. Politic. They both use options. Just like the song, Don't Take Him. I can't stand her channel either. Yeah, I I go over and see what's being said, Odin in, in our buttercup. But um a lot of I feel like the commentary that's done over there is just, you could just tell that she waits, that person waits around for other people to report the news and then she piggybacks off it. She ain't did no research. She just waits for like uh Hennessy review or myself or, um, you know, other, you know, channel holders that update the community on a regular basis to drop something. And then she piggybacks off it. And then on top of that, drags Krishan Rock, and it's it's messed up. She took her man like she said she was going to do. Yeah. Nobody can take anybody's man unless he wanted to be taken. Ooh, child. That, you ain't never lied, Rosen. Can no man be taken unless he wants to be taken? She definitely doesn't fact check at all. I, I can always tell in 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 uh when I'm in the bushes, she she got the information from the few platforms that dropped it earlier that day or late that night, and she just you it's like regurgitated content and she repeats it on her channel like she did some work. All spite. Very spite. 
And it's sometimes the most beautiful is women, the ones that shouldn't even have to be insecure, that are so insecure and want to do stuff like dragging somebody like Christian Rock. And Christian Rock don't know these people from a hole in the wall, but yet and still they want to get up here and just drag her. People drag me too because I defend her. But then again, you just don't know how to take people because then people want to say I'm I'm dragging Christian Rock when that's not even the case. If you were here and paid attention long enough, you would see my position with Christian Rock. Jay was, I mean, Jay, what is your point? She said it because Jaden accused her of trying to mess with him when she barely knew him. She was doing, when she was in the blue club, she was doing the do with him. She was, they had, they had a relationship going on. Trust and believe that. They had a relationship going off. Trust and believe that. I'm trying to figure out what's up with Vlad. What is his beef? What is his smoke with Krishan Rock? He's very questionable to me. And she got tattoos and had a baby out of spite. Yeah, but sometimes a lot of women do that. You know, only thing different than what Krishan may have done, you know, and these are just opinions. These are not the facts. These are just allegations. However, um, a lot of women do that thinking you're going to keep the man. But if anything, you don't keep no man by having no baby. If a man don't want to be kept, he's going to be gone. And that's just the simple, um, simple truth. Right, lazy content creating. And that's what she gives me. Lazy content creating. Because sometimes I be saying stuff and I know she been in the bushes and looking at my stuff and she repeated some of it. Krishan wasn't sleeping with him till 20 days after BG Club. Okay, ooh, that makes a bigger difference. So she... If she slept with him 20 days after, then she already had reservations. And she knew he had a family. Now, it's not Krishan Rock's fault. You're right. But she still was not kept the secret, Jaden. So you made the decision to mess with a doggish dude that has a pattern of messing around on Jaden Alexis. You wanted to be on that, that, that bandwagon right along with the other groupies and mess with them too. You keep it real on both sides. Exactly. I try to, Suze, Susie. Jaden confronted that girl on day two. Hey, Candy Girl. Krishan drags herself. She does things that make... Right. Well, and that's why, you know, I hope when she gets out, she does better. She had a baby three or four years later, if she was doing it spite, she would have had a baby a couple of months meeting him. I don't know. I really don't know. And you know what? To be honest with you, I'm not trying to be a Krishan Roxette because some of the stuff that she does uh, doesn't make any sense. And for me to sit there and try to say, you know, well, try to to make it make sense no i can't i think i think it makes me weak to try to make it make sense it makes me weak to try to make any of this toxic relationship triangle that uh blue face got going on she didn't have him out of spite she asked the doctor if was it too late keep going in yes cyrus yes 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 but anyways, all I want for Blueface to do is to get out, be a man, take care of both of his families, which is his three kids. He has two boys and a girl, and stop making excuses up for everything. That's all I want to see from him. Because the, the excuses have expired. You know what I'm saying? And he needs to get out here and do what he needs to do. No, it was the first episode they slept together. Meanwhile, the cameras were rolling. They did in his car. And you guys got to understand, don't think because you're seeing reality shows that you see everything. 
just because you saw an hour of the show, that's the whole everything. I'm telling you, uh, social media influences get off when people really think that when you guys see these shows that you saw everything. So you know all the bit. No, you don't. You only know what they they allow you to see, what they're willing to put up. I get why you're saying, get what you're saying, but we saying is Jaden confronted her, but at the same time, he and her wasn't in to each other like that. Jaden manifest that relationship. I don't know. Well, whatever the situation is, Buttercup, all I'm going to say, and this is my opinion, but I strongly believe this is what's going to happen. Blueface is going to get out. Nothing is going to change. And he's going to definitely mess with both of them. So if you guys want to sit there and I don't care if Krishan Rock slept with him a day after the Blue Girls Club and that don't that have no relevancy. The fact is what what I'm talking about is a present time. What is going to happen when he gets out? And I'm giving you my opinion that he is going to be with both of them. Period. Point blank. Now, we might not want to see it like that. We don't want to probably speak it into existence. And that's why a lot of people don't want to hear me say what I'm saying. But, hey, the truth the truth shall set you free. You know, sometimes we have to get out of denial or stop putting batteries in Christian Rock's back that things are going to be okay and see things for what they are. How he going to mess with Krishan in jail? Well, we know he can't mess with her in jail, duh. But when he gets out, he can. Blue Blue was going with all those. Thank you. He's going with all them, girl. And he still goes with them. Because if he tells Jaden, because tell me, if you're in a relationship with Krishan Rock, why are you? Because kids don't need to be at no court appearances. Or even at no jail visits. Unless the man's doing life or something. or not life, but close to a life bid. Then the kids need to know who their fathers are. So you have to sometimes, you know, take that into account. But no little kids need to be showing up at no court appearances that Blueface made for himself by having cell phones and and and, and legal illegal substances in his cell. If you're with Krishan Rock, why are you calling them both in the court for support? If they both turn their backs, he may change. You can't hope for different things and make no change. Exactly. Because if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results. Exactly. They only show what sells for views. Exactly. He's with both of them right now. Exactly, Rosen. No, I mean while Krishan is in jail. Yeah, he, he, well, right. Krishan can't be with him either while he's in jail. They can only say that they're together uh, uh, via mouth, verbal. To be fair, Journey and Junior won't remember that. Yeah, you're right, but that's not my point. My point is why is he, if he's with Krishan right now, why is he calling them both into court? Now, uh, now, y'all know if he was broke up with Krishan Rock and he was going to court and Krishan Rock was off doing her own thing, do you think he would be calling Krishan Rock if he was back with Jaden to go into court for support? I don't think so, in my opinion. Javon might, which is probably why he's not at the court case. Right. But listen, I'm about to get back off. Um, I probably will. No, I'm probably just going to um, premiere it. But um, I'm going to take some edits out of it, actually. Some stuff that I did edit and I don't want it in there. So it won't be in it when I uh, recap it. But I'm about to get off this live. It says when he gets out, he's going to be looking to get some act. Yep. I'll be whoever it is. You know, you already know it. You already know it. He going to get it from both of them. Because even if he's not attracted to Jaden as much as he is with Krishan, he hasn't had Jaden in a minute, and he hasn't had Krishan. So it's going to be almost like it's new. It's new to him, being with both of them. 
I don't think he is asking Jaden to come. I think Jaden comes because she was getting heat about not going. I don't know and don't care. And like I said, behind closed doors or over that phone, we don't know what these people are saying. But I respect everything that everyone's saying up here. I respect that you guys interact in the chat. We can agree to disagree. But like I said, we do not live with these people. We do not know these people. And we cannot assume what these people thought process are. It's crazy how followers rock on IG and Jade on, on Instagram. Nope. Totally agree with you, SL. Hey, Vet, how you doing, sweetie? But listen, I'm about to get off. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Smash that like button. And I will be back on Stay Cool. Cyrus, thank you for um being in this live and supporting the channel. Take care. You See you next time. Okay, baby girl. Good night. Thank you, queen. Thank you, Susie. Love y'all. Stay blessed. And I'm out. Mwah.